Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh what have I put myself into? No. Hell no. Hey there. Welcome back to my channel. I am Jenna and today I would like to show you how you can detangle such a stubborn 4C4B hair. Obviously, the back side of my hair is more kinkier, more 4C, and the front side is more kind of like a 4B. So, if you have such a hair, you don't know what to do and it drives you crazy just exactly like me. Sis, just sit down. Sit down. I got you. So this is gonna be what you're gonna need. I have all my hair tools, separate separating show, my tingle taser, a head clip, my white tooth uh, comb, then I have a bowl with a spoon, I have my bottle with my filtered water, I have a regular this is a, a oil that I always use to cook um, oil. Then I had this conditioner. It's um, I almost run out of it. And then I, I recently just bought this. This was like really, really cheap, like for like I don't know, fifty-five cent in one of our now our German stores. Uh, I only bought it because I was needing something like when I detangle my hair, what I can use to det as a detangler. But it's actually a like it's, it's called spilling it comes like i think that you just you put in your hair to rinse out it's kind of just like a rinse out conditioner or something like that so that's what i'm gonna need and you're also gonna need a shower cap i have this one just like inside it's kind of plastic um yeah i just put everything together i'm not measuring it like a specific way i uh, you know i'm gonna need a lot of oil so i'm gonna put oil basically just three product and I add water to it just gonna mix everything together until I get like this nice perfect texture that I need a mixture and then you just use it for your hair start applying it mix everything nice together and so that you get like this foamy texture that you can actually like nice that you can apply to your hair after that just follow by wetting your hair i prefer using like distilled water which i warm up in a cup inside a bowl because i just experienced that my hair loosen up better when i apply warm water i can only recommend you to always work in section if you're a beginner the smaller the section the better is i decided to choose this time a small section because i am planning to put my hair in some braids so put water massage the water in by pulling from the top of your hair like from the scalp of your hair to the tip that's how like you can kind of by pulling it down you can already lose the shaded hair and that's it just like you have to be patient very very patient take small section do them again and again add water water add your texture the finger detangle then with the wire tooth comb if you wish use also a small comb to like final brush everything out and that's it please let me know if you have any 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 other like wash or detangle routine that make your wash day even easier this is my third time that i'm doing this detangling I think the first time I do it, I wasn't sure if how it's gonna turn out, and I was like, "Well, I need to do it again to be sure like it's really good." And the third time, this is why I'm actually like filming it now because some of you requested it on Instagram. What I'm just doing like kind of like repeating my steps from the beginning to the end. You have to be gentle and gentle, and as soon as you're done, all you have to do is just kind of like add the rest of the product. I actually did more that I that I needed. Just rub everything together, put a shower cap on or your whatever you used to do, sit in, sit in it like for 10 minutes and when you're done, just wash your hair as usual. I hope that this method was kind of helpful. Let me know and thank you for watching. I will see you guys in seven days.